Emotional vulnerability. It's showing a part of yourself that you feel sensitive about. Being emotionally vulnerable means you can acknowledge your emotions that make you feel uncomfortable. It's about laying everything on the table, even if it means that people are exposed to the true you. Music and emotional vulnerability go hand in hand. Artists pour their heart out in every record they release, whether it be Kanye West's Runaway, and I always find, yeah, I always find something wrong. Jay Z's 444. If I wasn't a superhero on your face, my heart breaks for the day. I have to explain my mistakes. Or else, sweatshirt's chum. It's probably been 12 years since my father left. He left me fatherless. And I just used to say I hate him in dishonest chest. Hip hop has a long history of artists putting everything on the line and putting their emotional pain out there in the world for everyone to see. But let's be honest here, for the best part of three decades, hip hop was dominated by braggadocio, with only a select few artists deciding to take a different approach. But it was really the mid to late 2010s where we seen the true rise of emotional and introspective hip hop. Whether it be Earl Sweatshirt, Mike or Marvy, the underground revelation has made being emotionally vulnerable one of the biggest factors in hip hop music today. It's widely accepted now, and it has started to bleed into the mainstream. The renaissance of emotionally vulnerable artists has given us some of the best work over the past decade. But I don't think we can talk about hip hop and emotional vulnerability without mentioning the one and only Navy Blue. I'm moving graciously through all the nonsense. I was complacent when this shit was toxic. Fuck all these races, they get in a tight split. You're lucky. Now, Navy Blue has many EPs, but it's been his three albums to date that have really showed us how talented of a writer he truly is. His debut is an optimistic coming of age story about overcoming pain through the guidance of loved ones. Trickle down effect, my mother made a soldier. Shoulders ain't for crying on, oh, my brother no. Hold him close, privately we cope. He possesses a fractured hope throughout the album, and his optimism shines through as we reach the end, as he realises his pain has purpose. Bleed and I replenish, demons on my Achilles, I get more than I am given. Navy is a very poetic writer, sometimes his writing is so abstract that you need a few listens to really understand his message. But one thing is clear from the jump, and that is the fact that he leaves no stone unturned, as he explores the deepest and darkest parts of his mind. Now, Navy Blue was in the limelight before his rap career, as a professional skateboarder, model, and close affiliate with Odd Future. And in an interview with Ryzen, Navy said this, I was fearful of being so vulnerable. Hence, Navy Blue was born. We then have Song of Sage, Post Panic, released in 2020, as Navy sinks deeper into the corners of his mind, and it should be noted that this album was completed after Navy's stint in rehab, which is why it feels like you're almost a fly on the wall listening to Sage in this hour-long therapy session. It's a meditation on depression, grief and trauma, but his loved ones shine through all of this. I look myself in the mirror, start tearing up as I reflect, I rearrange my meaning. This album is like Navy is putting himself back together, piece by piece, as he heals his wounds. On the track Self Harm, his voice audibly cracks as he mentions crying in front of his partner. More songs are like this. He takes his most painful thoughts and turns them into something powerful. And in the same interview I mentioned earlier, Navy was asked what was hard about making music so personal. And he said this, All of it. It's all difficult. There's this analogy about a wall. You try to get over, around, or through the wall every which way. But sometimes it's just okay to surrender. My form of surrender is talking about it in a healthy way. And that's why rap music is incredible. Even if the subject matter is sometimes negative per se, it's still a healthy place to put your shit. And Navy's music is so powerful because of this introspection. Then, in 2021, we will get Navy's reprise. 
The same themes of trauma, depression and resilience all show up on the album, despite the instrumental palette being somewhat lighter. He is still deeply personal. I needed to revoke all my demons in the dark. They steady swinging low. Miss me for the most times. He revisits childhood trauma and family tragedies all throughout the record, and it is a truly great album. I don't think I've ever heard an artist lay it all on the line like Navy Blue. Like I said earlier, it almost feels like you're a fly on the wall during his therapy sessions. His emotional vulnerability is so powerful, and it ties directly back into relatability. There is no doubt in my mind that Navy's music has helped some of you during your own battles. His honesty and message on every record is truly breathtaking, and it is what gives his music the edge when you compare to the other artists in the same scene. Not every artist needs to have emotional vulnerability. It takes a lot to lay everything on the line and reveal everything to the world. But when artists do, it creates a connection between the artist and the audience. And Navy Blue? Well, he just has this connection with his audience. His writing just hits you right in the soul. And that's what makes him so special.